so, so you, you see, see such kind of bullying, of bullying mm. it's mm. happening mm. with these uh, preceptors mm. 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 So, so me i would ask maybe, maybe if, if they come up with a solution, solution uh, like, like what, what we do back home mm. uh, we have clinical instructors right those, those who come, come to assess a fourth year, year a fourth year assessment, year assessment mm-hmm. they, they just come you be there, there in the world practicing, practicing doing everything mm-hmm. and one mm-hmm. of them don't tell you that you're coming and this they person like, doesn't work just, with you on daily basis yeah, yeah they don't work with you they don't even know you they, they don't just come you. for you for the whole day for the whole they day that whole day yeah. and they spread your competence your domains and they are not going to base their judgment from the other nurses in the world it's their you know, own you know. personal independent opinion and opinion. assessment with based on facts on the ground exactly this is how we do it back home you have to assess us on that day mm, mm, mm. So you, there, there, there will be, be no bias. There will be no bias. Right. There will be no bias. Because they, are they, they don't want to do. They just make, uh, talk, take notes. They, they only stop you whenever your practice is dangerous to the patient. Mm. And they tell you that you have felt mm. you are given another chance mm. to, to prove to yourself. yourself. Mm. Rather than someone whom I'm working with, with a fellow colleague, we might, uh, I might have stepped on a toe, toe or his toe, mm. then def- definitely the outcome, outcome is based on that incident. Mm. Quite interesting. Quite interesting there, Tricia. <laughs> well, I-, I hope the responsible bodies and authorities will, will watch our humble podcast <laughs> and take lessons because uh, huge lessons here from Africa. It's the African system is better than the adaptation system that we we have here in Ireland, isn't it? Do you agree? Very to that? true. Mm. Very true. And, and it's unfortunate, lovers, that uh, those, those governing bodies, bodies they might not, not even have a clue of what's really going on. Mm, 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 mm. But now, based on the way uh, people are feeling and are coming from a same race, mm. Africans being felt, I think they start to query. Yeah, that should be queried because the percentages, the percentages are more than fifty percent. The failure rate is more than fifty percent. Some, some, at some point, I calculated uh, the people, the people who failed at a certain hospital. It was ranging eighty percent, sixty percent, seventy percent of failure rate, and of which the other races are doing very well. They are passing hundred percent, and. You, you begin to question and uh, wonder, is it because we have we are a third world country that we do not have uh, proper standards, we do not have proper equipment, uh, we do not have, uh, oh, our thing is, everything is substandard. Could that be the case? No. Uh, uh, lovers, I, I tell you, you uh, we, we might uh, come, come from a third world, world country, country. Mm. But, but when, when it comes, comes to, to the real nursing, mm. I'm, I'm telling, telling you, mm. African nurses mm. are better. Mm. Mm. At, At one point, point, I had to ask, like, like okay, are we here for quantity or for quality nursing? Right, right. Okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, when I'm uh, um, still looking at the point of um if because to them to the board to the governing bodies mm-hmm. they are seeing the outcome remember mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and now they are querying if they are doing a right thing to recruit from africa mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. thinking the africans uh their practice are are not at subs Practice. The substandard. We, we are minority. We are a minority group here. Mm, mm. In every uh, two Africans, we might find fifteen Indians, um, mm, mm-hmm. twenty Filipinos, and uh, other. But 
basically, basically Filipinos and Indians are mm-hmm. uh, more in terms of population. Right, right. Mm. So, so Africans, there are very few. Mm, mm, mm. And, and it's, it's uh, really hard to find uh, maybe five or six African preceptors at a hospital. Mm. So that reminds me, Trish, there that uh, the Indians are, are supportive of each other. If they are going through a challenge, yes. they, they resort into their own language to correct each other, to help each other, to help a brother and a sister. And uh, the same is with Filipinos as well. They are there to help each other because they are privileged to be many numbers. So uh, you realize that uh, people coming from their respective, to, from their countries, will get more support as opposed to an African brother or sister. Yeah, that's very true. And uh, it affects. Mm. That's mm. right. When they help each other, they tend to be better than us. Mm. Mm. And as for you, the adoptee, you rely on your preceptor. Mm. 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 And the preceptor, for example, uh, she might be Indian, he might be Indian. Mm. There, there is a communication barrier, barrier if uh, that a preceptor wants to correct you from mm. the point you can understand. Right, right, right. English, English is not our first language. language. We have to agree That's on that. That's true. All of us. It's a foreign language. It's a second language. Mm. <laughs> it's so foreign to everyone, even to the Irish. Even to the, even to the Irish, it's foreign. It's a second language. It's a second language. It's a second language. Yeah. So you, you see where I'm coming from. Uh, like, uh, as Africans, mm. Africa is big. Mm. Mm. And um, you find that someone from, we don't have a, a universal language in no, Africa. No, no, no. I cannot correct a Nigerian-ness. In a way that I understand. She understands better. Yeah, yeah. I'm only limited to resort to English. Mm, mm. Um, I might fail to express mm. in the right using the right technology to for that person to mm. really understand, where understand. I'm coming yeah from. yeah so this is a challenge on its own mm. Mm. but mm. that challenge we cannot entirely blame it on anyone it's our challenge that i we don't have an universal language that cannot be blamed on anyone mm. but at the same time uh the, the challenge, challenge I would lo- I would love to raise is um when, when a preceptor mm. is actually with um with her a student, student. Yes. A student. Uh, they, are they are failing to communicate a part to to to, to have, have a proper conversation, conversation. Mm. and. At, at mostly when you uh, when, when we when, when you join here, here mm. I myself ah uh, it, it was uh, uh, difficult for me to to, to adapt to the Irish, Irish language, mm. the, the Irish, Irish uh, tone. Mm. Mm. Naturally, Naturally, Irish, Irish people speak faster. faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it, it was, was difficult, difficult for me, me like the, the whole the whole, whole handover. You wouldn't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> same, same with me. Same with me. Same with me. And yeah. uh, come to Indians as well. Mm. Their, their tone I could not even, even hear it properly. properly. Mm. Mm. And, and for them as well, they could not hear. Yes, they don't. The word is so hard for them as well. Equally, so, so this is a period um, mm. when these challenges um, erupt and yeah, and they go on and on, and it's just your your character mm. to say if you don't want to change, mm. uh, you remain in that uh, position, mm. and at the end of the day, mm. you fail. Mm. Flexibility also comes into play. You tolerate each yeah. other. Flexibility also plays a, a very pivotal role from the Africanness's 
Trish, let me bring you back again to this subject. It's not about adaptation that we need to look into, uh, only failure of adaptation, because when one fails adaptation, then what? What is the afterlife of adaptation. Remember, these individuals, you mentioned of RCSI, and that's an expensive uh, uh, examination. You have to fork out about 2,800 euro to write RCSI or aptitude. And now, it's just a, a, a heartfelt concern that I have, Trish, that uh, these African nurses are coming from Africa. Uh, for them to come here, they will have uh, fogged and uh, really spent a fortune in terms of preparation because it's expensive to relocate to, uh, to, to come here in Ireland. One might have sold a house, um, one might have uh, uh, sold a car, borrowed money from friends and relatives, and uh, with, uh, with the idea of paying back when they have settled, when they have started working. But then these nurses come here, they fail to adapt, they fail to, to make it through, and they are failing the adaptation, and they are faced with a huge challenge. They have left their families back home, and uh, they are just here by themselves. Others have left young children, uh, very young, under their care. And they are here, and uh, when, you, when I look at, uh, at the nursing fraternity, mostly it's dominated by women by ladies and when mm -hmm. you look at a lady when you look at a woman i i see uh, a whole clan of a family behind a woman their children there's a husband their family even in the context of our african context if you want uh, somebody to look after you when you're grown uh, a, ch a girl child is the one who takes much responsibility. We say uh, raise a girl child and you raise a nation. So behind all that, looking at that closely, Trish, the huge burden and somebody is coming here and is not making it on ad adaptation. In the mind, there are also history that there's, uh, there are lots of people who are failing adaptation, and you are coming to the same hospital where there's a high rate of failure. How is your mindset, your mental, and it's a whole new environment. Doesn't that cause fear on its own and uh, panic in an, in an individual? Uh, Navas, you said it well. Mm -hmm. But, but we still go back to the point, point where we're saying, saying uh, we, we are, are failing, failing to prepare our fellow nurses. Mm -hmm. I understand uh, the agents to leave due to economical challenges back home. Mm -hmm. But uh, because of that agents, we are making it worse. Mm -hmm. We have to sell everything that we have. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate mm. uh, when, even if we, we tell you that, that uh, we think there is a bad apple mm. in this basket, mm. Mm. try to avoid these hospitals. Mm. But due to the challenges that you are facing home, which mm. are best known by yourself, mm. you might just say, it's best. Let me just go. It's an opportunity yeah, that is reason. No, better than this one I know. Mm, mm, mm. This, this is a, a challenge. Because there are no the the, the, I don't, the little options really to the hospitals that are taking for adaptation really. So people are just resorted to to choosing or to going for the one that has presented itself. Yeah, yeah, but but, you, but lovers, why 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 why, 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 why are we sacrificing ourselves? That's the problem. Why you that's the problem. To sacrifice yourself. Mm. Jesus died for everyone else. Mm. Why do you, do you have, have to sacrifice, sacrifice yourself? Mm. Because we come to this, and honestly, these people mm. they are in that um, family of. I don't want to be known. I don't. I just do my thing secretly, mm. and you end up. 
coming to the same because these hospitals mm. even if we make noise even if we complain mm. it's something that can be solved overnight mm. Mm. there are investigations which that can go it. for years and these investigations can only be triggered if the issue is known by the authorities but as long as the authorities are not aware of it they don't know about it they haven't heard about it nothing is going to happen nothing is going to be done and, and people will continue to suffer yeah yeah so the best way is when people are coming for adaptation before the interviews they um uh, you have the right to tell them the agency Imagine that I don't want uh, to go to work on such and such a hospital. Mm, mm. I have had mm. the repetition of that hospital. Mm, mm -hmm. I had four interviews when I came yeah, myself. Yeah, me too. <laughs> four interviews. <laughs> yeah. But I had to sit down mm. now to see where exactly mm. can I go. Yeah. I asked people around, I asked people who were here, mm. they told me the pros and cons mm. of each and every hospital. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I am today. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, you, so, were, you, were, you made the right decision there. So at times, mm. And unfortunately, I would love to tell you, lovers, I I got a, um, I did an interview with that hospital okay. in question. Okay, okay. <laughs> but because of the stories and people were sharing, yeah, yeah, I had to choose like where can I go? Mm. And I'm such mm. a guy. Mm. So this of um, hibernating, it won't help us. Mm. Mm. The authority mm. can only deal with what it is, uh, what is presented to them. Mm. Mm. Now, Trish, I'm, I'm interested now at this point of our conversation in solutions. Earlier on, you talked about uh, uh, the the current crop or the the those who have already settled not doing enough to help. Of course, we also talked about. Uh, others those who are in need of help not opening up so it's a paradox of both the one who needs the help is not coming on board to be helped and the one who is in a position to help is also reluctant to help as well now yes. what what is the way forward going forward what can we do i understand there's a group that has been created for adaptation and uh, those who are who have failed adaptation so that we try to support each other and i understand also that there's an organization that uh, is coming uh, inclusive of, of the african nurses trying to formulate a formidable organization to look into these issues closely and engage the authorities in terms of uh, making the lives of these people uh, okay i understand also trish that there are others who are going through torrid times to an extent of losing their mind because of the circumstances and situations that they find themselves in because of uh, uh, simply coming into a, into Ireland to for the purposes of bettering their lives. But uh, things are not turning up to be so. It's turning to be a hell for some of the nurses. Now, let's look uh, on, on the solutions, Trish. There's a group. How best can people be helped? Because you others don't want to be in, to be involved with anyone unless they have a serious problem when it is actually out of hand. Okay, okay so, so for these groups, groups uh, uh, lovers, these, these groups, groups are basically they are individuals, individuals mm. who yes. have seen the challenge. Mm. Uh, um, who are trying to come up uh, together as uh, Africans and uh, come up with something that is lawful to the laws of Ireland and try and defend the fellow sisters and brothers. Uh, it's still on the... Um, 
formulative stages, is it? Yeah, yeah the, the foundation, foundation stage. stage. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't want to talk much about it, mm. Mm. Uh, but I would ask fellow Africans mm. Mm. To, to look for the information, mm. to join forces, mm. To, to try and uh, come uh, and, and complement what is being um, uh, uh, what is being done. done. Mm. Ask for the goal. Ask for the visions. Mm. And try and complement mm. by supporting uh, the, the existing structures. Mm. Because uh, our mandate here is to help a fellow African nurse who will come to the I let to come to Ireland to become an Irishness. Mm, mm, mm. Divided we fall, united we stand. So yes, yes. we just and have and to. Then, I mean, mm. I mean, is helping. Uh, it's a uh, Irish nursing uh, midwifery mm. organization, the organization here in Ireland, mm. uh, which is a very influential organization. Mm. It's, it's helping. helping. Mm. Uh, the mm. mandate is to help a nurse. Mm. 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 Whether you are whatever an African nurse, mm. a Indian nurse, an Asian nurse, a Indian nurse, mm. an American nurse, wherever you are from, help a nurse mm. as long as you are there. Mm. Remember. So you have to be registered. Each and every one should be registered with the INMO. And, INMO. and of course, there's also uh, MNI, Migrant Nurses Island, also. That one as well. These are groups, uh, these are organizations mm. that have laid the foundation already mm. and, and they are they there to support nurses. Mm. It's actually an individual's um, choice to say at least be lined to someone because he might not be privileged to know the legal uh, nitty gritty of yeah. everything. Mm. But for those organizations, they have legal teams mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that can stand with you in terms of trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm. So I, I would um, ask fellow African nurses mm. to join. Mm. As much as we join them as well, mm. what are we doing to help this African group? Exactly. Because, exactly. Uh, we might. Um, we, we might, might argue about, about it. it. Mm. We mm. might not have, have a same language, language in Africa, Africa, but our, our culture is almost the same. It is, it is, it is. From, From the northern, northern Africa, Africa to the southern Africa, Africa east to west. We are all son of the soil. We are all we, sons and daughters of the soil. The <laughs> no wonder no why. Yeah. Actually, we behave the same way somehow. No wonder why you see a Nigerian nest failing, the same as Zimbabwe nest failing, a Kwana nest failing, but coming from different states of Africa. Because we behave in a almost similar. Or because you look alike, so you're all branded the same. Of course. This is our culture. Yeah. It's not our culture of failings. <laughs> Probably. No, it's not, it's not failing. Okay. It's our culture. Of like being the, uh, we are, having the same. Right. Of oh. We don't, we don't, we don't uh, uh, share a lot about ourselves. ourselves. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Uh, the other time we have to talk about it. Uh, you know what the colonial masters sometimes they instilled in us something. I have to blame it. The <laughs> colonial masters anyway <laughs> trish to to conclude uh what will be your your last remarks and we have to talk about uh, uh next time when we get the chance let's talk about adaptation just to guide to look into the the pros and the cons of the adaptation what to expect the issue of timing the issue of uh uh re receiving a report end of uh, the issues of drug management 
and time management as a whole and how you can present yourself just to give us to give the nurses some tips in terms of adaptation and we have to look into that but uh, your last remarks Tricia uh, today uh, in terms of what we were discussing today mm. I would like to aid the fellow nurses the fellow African nurses mm. to stand up for themselves mm. Do not hide or hibernate in the thing of uh, want to please the preceptor. The preceptor is a tutor. She's supposed to guide you, to correct you. Let me give you an example of what happened during my adaptation period. Uh, this year, I'm not going to say the name or what, wherever it happens, but uh, I, was given, um, I was nursing in a high dependence and uh, a patient, a patient was scoring five. five. Mm -hmm. uh, New score. To the EWS, a score mm. five, uh, I knew score. Mm. According to the EWS, uh, it means I have to do the observations um, every hour. Mm -hmm. I was doing the observation, all the observations hourly. Mm -hmm. I literally, uh, I didn't uh, do the temperature. Mm -hmm. because, because when we were training, training mm -hmm. our book told us that temperature can be checked every four hours. Mm -hmm. It cannot change over 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. The change might be my minute. Okay. Okay. And my preceptor mm -hmm. was pinning me down for those four hours mm -hmm. to say, she, she didn't do, she photocopied the I news and she made it uh, look big and everything. Blow, so, blew I, things out of proportion. Yeah, yeah it, no, she was okay. okay. I was putting the life, the life of a patient was in danger because mm, mm. the I news is asking me to do every um, category. But you as a preceptor, you are teaching me, I'm learning. Mm, mm. You are, you are busy, busy watching, watching me for four hours, hours doing, doing the wrong thing. thing. Mm. That puts a patient on mm. danger. Mm. Mm. And when we have to go and stand before the court, mm. do you think that preceptor can win that case? No, no. She's a, she, she will have played, uh, you know, part in it, yeah. No, it's not partly. She's one because mm -hmm. she's the tutor. She should have told me the very next hour to say, Trish, no, mm -hmm. you didn't do this observation. Why did you skip? Mm -hmm. You can't wait for four hours. Mm -hmm. Four hours is too mm -hmm. much for a patient. Mm -hmm. I understand, yeah. And, and you are here saying someone is a tutor. Mm -hmm. when she did, whatever she did, I let her do. So, then when uh, the boss called us, I just asked, like, boss. Mm -hmm. Are we managing the mistakes that a, an adaptee can do, or we want to manage a patient? That's the that's the scenario, and that's the situation these nurses who are doing adaptation are going through, and that's what I experienced as well. Somebody will be just watching you to make a mistake and report it. It will be just uh, the report. The the eye is on the negative things that you're doing not on the positive things and no one will tell you whether you're doing the wrong thing or what only to be called for, for i mean by the cnm to, for as a case to answer you have to answer a case and you'll be surprised when did this happen how did this happen how did it come to be here and you were not told no one really questioned you <laughs> There's something and wrong with that. Now we need to query, like, are we being honest to the Irish patients? Mm, mm. Because the patient is the one who suffers here. Mm, mm. And you are busy managing mistakes of foreign adaptiveness. Mm, mm. I, I had to stand up and say, no, if you are going to take it further, take it further. Mm, mm. I then. The one who was supposed to teach me was busy watching me making mistakes mm. for her mm. with a mm. over human being. Mm. It's pathetic. In some it's cases, pathetic. Trish, from my experience, you will not you you'll be doing everything according to the book, but somebody perceives that you have done something wrong. You do not prioritize properly, 
what you and it's a perception and it is brought to the management that lovers had done this 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 and that and you are called to the office to answer maybe two weeks later or when you are doing uh an assessment or if you're doing probably probation you on your probation you're seeing documents and information that you're surprised where is this coming from when did this happen you're not aware of it and some of the things you you are put on pip performance improvement plan uh of the things that you did not even commit and stuff like that isn't there an error somewhere as well in, in the... That's why I say the system has to look... If they are true to their patients, the Irish patients, they need to take a great look at the system and review their system and put in place because the practices that we are seeing in the clinical areas... Uh, lovers, I tell you, it's nothing to be. I, I would, I would rather be in Zimbabwe where I improvise everything, mm. life to, to be saved. Yeah, yeah. Rather than being where every, where everything is everywhere, mm. every, every resources, but failing to save the life, then mm. Mm. We are something, it's, uh, it's unprofessional. Mm. I don't know, I'm sorry to say that, but mm. uh, what we are seeing in the clinical area is unprofessional. Mm. 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 Adaptees, they, those adaptees, they make to suffer and they vent their anger to, they are just nothing mm. compared to the things that are happening on the ground. Mm. Mm. A lot has to be done, Trish, and uh, thank you, Trish. So, so the thing is, just I uh, will just uh, urge uh, fellow nurses, yeah. fellow African nurses, mm. please try and report, please try and stand up. You speak out. You really know what's not, uh, what, what, what is acceptable and what is not. No, perfect, perfect. Let's stand up for ourselves. Together, we can win. Together, we can win. Let's stand up. For ourselves and Trish will continue to have this uh, kind of conversation to help our fellow African nurses and thank you so much and you have been uh, really quite handy in terms of uh, dissecting and breaking down the Irish system vis-a-vis -vis the African nurses who are coming to do adaptation and uh, Trish Thank you for coming on the program. Love us podcast. Thank you for the time, the period that you gave me to express myself. Right. I'm talkative. Um, That's beautiful. <laughs> we want people like you. We want people like you. Who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll vote you for the president of uh, uh, the INMO representing. <laughs> the INMO actually the, becoming the president of INMO representing everyone. Everyone, <laughs> yeah. Just, yes, uh, it's just a uh, yeah, um, and opportunity, time and opportunity. The time, time will come. come. Yeah, uh, continue to save uh, the, the Irish, Irish patients. patients. Uh, uh, those are our queens, queens and kings. Those are our those kings. Are That's why we are here anyway to serve them, to continue give. Continue to serve them diligently and. Yeah. Deadly. Let's not be um, um, muzzled mm. by loneliness. Yeah. If someone is doing it the wrong way, let's speak up. Yeah, we left our own back home. We left our own back home. And when I see an elderly uh, here, I think of my mom, I think of my dad. So, yeah, back home. So, we, we are here for a mission to save lives. Trish. This is Lover's Podcast and it's a bye-bye.